Hello and welcome to quantitative reasoning solution section. Thank you very much for tuning in today. Thank you to all our subscribers. Thank you to our new viewers. For those joining in for the first time, do well to like and subscribe to this channel. Alright, so we have this problem before us. We have our quantitative reasoning book 4, page 44 of Lantern Step Quantitative Exercise 5B. And we have this problem. We have here, we have our rules and columns. Alright, so uh, before I begin this, I'm going to number each uh, row A, B, C, D, E, F. Alright, so looking at this. We're going to um, multiply columns in order to get a particular column. Two columns or divide, subtract or add. Okay. So looking at this, we have uh, C and D. So when you multiply C, D, you're going to get F. And when you add E, B, you're going to get A. So let's add this. The next row we have 3 plus 5 is 8, and 4 times 7 is 28. Okay, so uh, we can now solve, but in this case, we're going to create formulas for and so that it's going to act as a roadmap, right? So, uh, for our F. Let's to find F. Let's do it this way. To find our F, we're going to say F equals C times D. And likewise, to find C, we're going to say our C equals F divided by D. And to find our D, remember this is D. We're going to say our F divide, uh, divided by our C. So to find our D, we have our F divided by our C. Okay. So let's look at the other part. Let's try to find A. So for each of the A, to find A... So what are we going to do to find A? We're going to add B. A equals B plus E. And to find to find our B, we have our B. This is our B. Right? So we're going to find our B and to get our B would say our A, our A minus, our A minus our E, right? And to find, so we found our B, and to find our E, So to find our E, we have to find our E, we have A minus R B, right? So if we're to use this, we have A, which is 13 minus 8, and it's going to give you your E. So we can try out one of the examples. So let's look at this rule and and apply what we have done. Okay, so these are F, right? So let's find this, this rule. So to find our 28, right? So we have six, C times D. These are C times D. So 4 times 7 is 28 so as you can see is correct so to find our c to find c here we have our 28 
28 divided by 7 and we have our 4 right and to find d what's our d our d is 7 right remember this c is 4 so to find our 7 we have our f divided by c which is our 28 divided by 4 is 7 and to find a which is 8 right we have our b plus our e which is our 8 right we have our 5 plus 3 which is 8 so to find b which is our 5 right so for b we have we have a which is 8 minus r3 so our answer is 5 and to find e what's our e our e here is 3 so to find 3 we have a which is 8 minus our b which is 5 so as you can see our uh, answers are correct and it corresponds with what we have here so do not forget to like share and subscribe to this channel for more quantitative reasoning solutions thank you very much and do have a nice day bye